All right. Good morning, guys. Um, we got a new update, so I'll run through it real quick. Uh, we got a new evolution and a new insect to look at uh, today, uh, as well as supposedly a button somewhere that tells you where you got a... Oh, yeah, okay. So they got the building list that you can look at now, which tells you basically uh, if you have anything that you can upgrade, which is kind of nice. Um, so we'll look into the insect first. Uh, I was looking at this a little minute ago. Um, seems like a very pretty good uh, purple insect. The one thing that I was kind of disappointed with is the helper. Um, with it being as a helper, it only gives garrison defense. So that's a little disappointing as a helper, especially if you're free to play, they are going to be using this for uh, their atlas. That's a little bit of a disappointing stat. Um, now we'll get into the new research. Now this, I was pretty interested in seeing, <clears throat> um, it's very, you only open it after you have T10 already and it's very expensive as you can see. I mean, if it's starting at, out at 2000 creature remains for the first research, that means by the time that you hit 20, you're going to be paying about 50,000 creature remains per research. So this one is definitely going to be taking a long time to do. Uh, I actually probably will get all three T10 before I really bother with this one. Although, um, as we go further down, you'll see that there's actually one research at the very end that actually might make it worth doing to push it. Well, uh, defense of the front line. Uh, all three of these uh, is again defense uh, but if you see it's only a 0.5 increase so that means up to 20 it's only a 10% increase so that that's expensive for 10% <laughs> uh, taking skill damage of all squad reduces again it's going to be 10% by the end and you'll, you'll see you have to max out all three of these to be able to progress so that's very expensive um, attack of our back line increases this one will be a flat 20 percent that you get uh, again requires that you finish out uh, the one before it <coughs> uh, for this one for shooter and squads not troop type uh, increase the attack of all squads 10% there, also very expensive. I know I'm saying very expensive a lot in this, but these researches are pretty crazy. Skill damage of all squads increase, that'll be a 10%. Uh, health of our middle line increase, that'll be a 20%. Uh, for each shooter ant squad in our troop, increase the health of all squads. That'll be a 10%. And you can see it's gone up to where it's 4,000 just to be able to start it. Now, this is uh, control resistance of all squads increase. That'll be a 10%. Now, this is the one research that I'm um, actually interested in, and I'm kind of wondering whether it might be worth pushing uh, because of this. Uh, when any of one squad's power is close to zero, that squad immediately heals the total number of injured soldiers ants by 2%, up to, that means up to 40%. So that's a 40% heal on your squad. So that, that essentially could mean that technically in the squirter, unless you're actually getting smacked out the first go, you can likely stay in the squirter all night long. So that's an interesting one that I am wondering whether it would be a good idea to push for. But this is essentially, this entire tree is like getting two T10s together. So I'm kind of debating whether it'd be better just to go and get uh, my T10s, my other two T10s, rather than trying to push this tree. 
but anyway guys uh that's it for this video just wanted to show you uh the two or well, three updates that they did and uh hopefully it helps you and uh, i will see you in the next one quick edit that i uh noticed when i was going through and editing this um on one of these researches <coughs> you actually have to get all three t10 before yeah here we go uh, well, you have to have two of them at least done. So you have to have two T10s before you can even do any of this uh, tree to that's actually worth it. You can only really do the defense lines before you have to um, do at least two T10s. So at the most... Um, so you get a little bit of damage reduction, some defense, and some more defense. That's all you can do before you have to unlock two T10s, regardless, before you can complete the rest of the tree.